I was thrilled to unbox my FRE SKY and find it carefully packaged with a surprisingly quick 45-minute assembly time. The bike's quality exceeded my expectations with premium features and graphics that looked even better than the online photos. I appreciated the attention to detail, like fully inflated tires and a charged battery, making it easy to hit the road. The battery is securely stored in the down tube, with a convenient charging port and a keyed lock for peace of mind. The hydraulic brakes were perfectly dialed in, and the shocks were set to a comfortable starting point with easy adjustment options. While the bike is heavier than expected, it rides incredibly smoothly thanks to the e-acceleration and intuitive controls. I loved the adjustable LED display, rubber control pad, and easy-to-use buttons. The cables were pre-sorted and zipped together, making assembly a breeze. The seat is adjustable in height and position, and the plastic fenders are a nice touch, though I opted not to use them. The kickstand is sturdy and conveniently located, and the battery life has been impressively long, even with minimal pedaling. Overall, this bike is a joy to ride. If I had to suggest improvements, I'd say the display could be brighter for sunlight visibility, and the provided chain lock could be longer to accommodate the frame, front tire, and rack. All in all, I'm thoroughly enjoying my FRE SKY. It's an exceptional ride. Right out of the box, this bike performs admirably. However, I highly recommend having a bike shop through the final adjustments and a test ride. It's a small investment that pays off handsomely. I've had experience with two other bikes from REI and Raleigh, but my journey with a bike dates back to 2010. Having tried both mid-drive and rear-drive setups, I must say the throttle and overall ride feel of the Cost and CE Schwinn surpasses the others. It's exceptionally well-built. Regarding sizing, the chart might be a tad off. I stand at 6 feet tall with a 31-inch inseam, and the small-medium size just fits me. Size chart may be wrong got the small-medium just fits, so you may need an extra small for extra room. On a single charge, the bike covers around 25 to 30 miles, even with a 240 pounds rider like myself, though your mileage may vary. Despite its 8 amp hours battery, which is smaller compared to some others, it packs quite a punch. The metallic red color adds a touch of flair, and the bike feels incredibly sturdy. Coming from a background as a retired bike mechanic, I can confidently say that this Schwinn Kostin CE outperforms my REI City 2.2 mid-drive with 700C 45mm tires. The wider 2.6-inch tires handle gravel and street with ease, and the high-quality metal fenders, while silent, are a welcome addition. Surprisingly nimble, thanks to its 275 by 26 tires, this bike exceeds expectations both on trails and in urban commuting scenarios, with speeds reaching up to 20 miles per hour thanks to its throttle. For longer trips exceeding 25 miles round trip, consider investing in the extended battery, which charges relatively quickly. In conclusion, kudos to Schwinn for delivering a top-notch model that's both fun and practical, all at an attractive price point. Having tested and rented over 20 bikes during my tenure at a bike shop in the Bay Area for over six years, I can confidently say that the Schwinn Kostin is a winner. I've taken this beast through a variety of terrains, and it has consistently exceeded my expectations. Here's why the SMLRO XDC 600 deserves a spot in your garage. Unparalleled performance. The heart of the XDC 600 is its powerful dual 1000W motor. Whether you're climbing steep hills or cruising on flat surfaces, the motor provides a seamless boost that makes pedaling feel almost effortless. The 48V22.4AH battery offers impressive range, allowing for long-distance adventures without the anxiety of running out of power. I easily get around 50 to 60 miles on a single charge, depending on terrain and riding conditions. Fat Tires for All Terrains The 4-inch wide fat tires are the true stars of this e-bike. They provide incredible stability and traction on all surfaces, from sandy beaches to snowy paths. The added cushioning effect also means that bumps and rough patches are smoothed out, giving you a more comfortable ride. Plus, they just look cool and rugged. Comfort and Convenience Riding the XDC 600 is a pleasure thanks to its ergonomic design. The adjustable seat and handlebars ensure a comfortable riding position for users of different heights. 
The front suspension fork absorbs shocks effectively, making off-road rides less jarring. The LCD display is clear and easy to read, providing all the essential information like speed, battery level, and distance traveled. Easy assembly and maintenance. Out of the box, the XDC 600 requires minimal assembly. The instructions are straightforward and the necessary tools are included. Maintenance is also hassle-free with accessible components and a helpful user manual for reference. A few considerations. While the SMLRO XDC 600 is packed with features, it's worth noting that its weight can be a bit challenging if you need to carry it upstairs or load it into a car. Also, the large tires may not fit on standard bike racks, so you might need a special rack for transportation. After clocking over 500 miles on my Highboy P6 commuting to work, I've really gotten to know this bike inside out. First off, I'd buy it again without a second thought. It was my initiation into the e-bike world, and I'm relieved I didn't cave to the bike shop's pressure to splurge on a $3,000 model loaded with bells and whistles. The Highboy outpaces it in speed, looks sleeker, and whole lot cheaper. It handles beautifully, and I've hit speeds over 30 miles per hour on downhill stretches, thanks in part to those fat tires which ensure a smooth ride. My only gripe? The half-twist throttle takes some getting used to. I was getting off one day while it was still on, and I twisted the throttle by accident and shot off like a rocket with me along with it. Invest in hydraulic brakes or high-quality pads, the factory ones aren't up to snuff, and rearview mirrors are a must. This bike is heavy at 65 pounds, so you might want to think about that if you live upstairs. If you run out the battery, it's going to be tough cranking those pedals. I would never take this bike on serious MTB trails. This bike is for streets and gravel paths. Weighing in at around 200 pounds, I'm pleased with its performance, though acceleration from a standstill leaves something to be desired. Lighter riders might notice a difference. Motor and battery-wise, no complaints. My biggest issues with this bike is it pulls up 08 error codes almost daily. I'm not sure why, it could be a short in the wiring, or the controller is bad. It gets annoying. It's also a noisy bike. Not terribly so, but there is some noticeable noise if you are new to a bikes, or just don't want to spend that much, this bike is the way to go. You can always upgrade what you want. I'm thrilled to share my experience with my second VeloWave bike. I learned my lesson the first time around and couldn't resist getting another one. The bike arrived expertly packaged, and assembly was a breeze. VeloWave has made some fantastic updates to this new model, including the option to add fenders and a rear rack at a very reasonable price. Plus, the free bell and lock were a nice touch. The flared grips, similar to Cobra grips, provide exceptional comfort. As with my previous purchase, the included tools are top-notch and will find a permanent home in my tool bag. I highly recommend the VeloWave Ranger to anyone interested in a fat tire e-bike. My only suggestion would be to include bottle holders and an additional mounting point. A minor quibble considering how happy I am with my purchase. <laughs>